Can you hear that? Can you hear the church bells ringing? This place is beautiful. I am in Augusta at Noble Ice Winery and Vineyards. Who knows how many people have been married right back here. And this looks like something out of a Hollywood movie set, but it's not Hollywood. It's in the wine country of Missouri, and I can't wait to see more of it. Let's go. Hi, I'm Joy. Hi, Joy. I'm Brandon. Nice Very to meet nice you. nice to meet you. So this is Noble Ice. This is Noble Ice. Welcome. I am eager to see it. Will you show me around? Absolutely. Come on Let's inside. Let's do it. So, Brandon, give me a little history of Noble Ice. When did it start? So, Noble Ice was a dream of Bob and Luann Nolan. Back around 2005, they um, bought 74 acres of land here, and right in the smack in the middle of the Augusta Appalachian, mm -hmm. um, and wanted to plant some grapes. And fall of 2009 was our very first harvest from our vineyards here. And uh, we made wine for the first year. And then in 2010, we decided it was time to share what we had made with the public. And we opened October 2nd, 2010. I love that story. The rest is history. And I want to mm. see the rest because I have not been outside of this tasting room. Oh, you're, gonna, you're in for a treat. Let's go. All right. This is beautiful, Brandon. You, and you call this area the terrace, correct? Yeah, that's what we call it. This is where folks would come out on a weekend or during the week um, to enjoy their wine and food. I can see why people would love it. Big, beautiful tree, nice shade tree. But speaking of shade, you've got a huge tent yeah. out here that I take it that you can enjoy this space, rain or shine, summer, winter, any season. Anytime. It's got walls, so if it gets too cool, we can turn the heaters on. Uh, if it's nice outside like today, we can roll the walls up and turn the fans on, and you can enjoy this any time of year. This looks like something out of a postcard, doesn't it? Yeah. Look at it, the rolling hills. No wonder people love Augusta. So this is our winery. Uh-huh. This is where everything gets made. Uh, we've got 19 of these big stainless steel tanks back here. Um, and you're here right at the start of the process. This okay. is kind of an annual cycle. Mm -hmm. um, we harvest the grapes in the fall. We make the wine through the winter time, filtering it, blending it, and then we typically bottle it in the spring. Okay. Um, occasionally, we need to bottle outside of that, like we did um, today. Yeah, we you actually, were doing that today when we arrived. Yeah, those were our red wines that we aged in an oak barrel, mm -hmm. which I can show you here in a little bit. Okay, I am eager to see some of the food and taste some of the wine. Excellent. Follow me. These doors are stunning. Yeah, People I love them. People take pictures in front of these doors. What's what's on the other side? This is the entrance to our barrel cellar. This okay. is where we age wine in an oak barrel. Can't wait to see it. Oh. So Brandon, this is the barrel room. So everything yeah. we saw in the tanks, yep. once it finishes there, it comes in a barrel and it lands here. Not everything, Not but everything. some of them. Okay. Yeah, when we decide we want to put wine in an oak barrel, mm -hmm. um, it's intentional because we're going to pick up some flavors from that oak. Exactly. Each barrel is toasted over an open flame, and we're caramelizing the natural sugars in the wood, which brings about different flavors. So when we put wine in a barrel, we're kind of intentionally sacrificing some of the fruitiness for some of the, some of the flavors we'll pick up from that barrel, which yeah. could be anything from a vanilla to coffee and mocha and spice and all different kinds of things. But you get a lot of magic in there, and it's entirely different than a stainless steel tank. Absolutely. Stainless yeah. steel is inert, so it's not going to change the wine at all. What you taste is what Mother Nature made in the grape. Okay, I love this wine education, and in this particular room, I mean, of course, you can do the wine flights upstairs and do a tasting up yep. there, but if you really want the education, you can come down here for about an hour and get a really good tasting. That's right. Yeah, we call them our cellar tastings. Yeah. Um, they're led by some of my staff that are highly trained, that know all the ins and outs about our wine, how it's made, what it pairs well with, how to best enjoy it, how to serve it, how to store it. Um, any kind of that stuff we like to geek out about with our wine. It's a good way to be a geek. Okay, speaking of, can I taste some before I go? For sure. Let's, Let's head go. on up to the tasting. Okay. So Brandon's going to show me a red and a white. Yeah. Which one do you prefer to start with? I'm good with either one. Well, I picked four that I thought you might like, but let's try, how about our dry traminet? Perfect. This is the vineyard that we saw outside when we were by the tent. So I am this, a drier wine drinker, so... Well, then you ought to love this. It's real crisp, it's real clean, it's got some nice floral notes, a little spice in the finish. It's a beautiful grape. Are you a fan of this one? Of course you are. Of course. He's the winemaker. He's going to be a fan, I'm sure. Nice citrus in there. Mm. Mm. Perfect for a hot summer day. Um, I'm real proud of this one. This is our owner's reserve, Norton. Um, which is why it's screen printed, got the dipped in wax by hand. Very pretty. Now, you told me earlier this is one of your absolute favorites. This is, yeah. Oh, this, this is, is kind of your go to? I can drink this one 
when it's nice outside. Thank you. I'm sitting alone, it's quiet, and I just want to relax and, mm -hmm. and take in the day. This is perfect. Also mm -hmm. goes nice with a nice juicy piece of red meat or some big aged cheeses. This is one of the barrel aged? Yeah, this one spent some time in a barrel. For sure. tell. Mm. Mm. Okay, put me down for a case of this one. <laughs> Brandon, good, isn't this that? is ridiculous good. Yeah, thank you. Oh man, I one see just favorites. what you mean. Okay, so the owner's reserve Norton. Yeah. Okay, there's a lot to be said for Augusta and a whole lot to be said for Noble Ice. Thank you. Thank you. I may just take the rest of this with me. Be my guest. 